Welcome, everyone, to the Real Hovians cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. All right. So, guys, you know, once in a while, something really bugs me with Doctor Who, and we got to address it. Uh, Chris Chimdall is really Whoa. getting annoying with his, yes. oh, there might be female incarnations of the Doctor or yes. before the Doctor. And, like, I'm really getting, like, like you know, I... I Got a message from Scribe today, uh, you know, who Scribe was, did videos way before I did, obviously. And he's discussing with the social justice warrior aspect of it and all these different things. He says it's gone too far. It's probably going to get canceled. And yeah. for him to say that, you know, that he's been watching it for a long time. I mean, I, I feel that, you know, the season is not going to go down in history as one of the memorable seasons. No. It, it's, I'm, it, fe I'm fearing that Chibnall, uh, Chibnall in the writing is nothing against Whitaker. She's been doing a great job. I'm, well, I'm, see, I don't even, I don't even want to say that though. I, I'm, I'm doing Grander as a good, good actress, and she would have been great as um, maybe a, a regenerated uh, Ronnie or uh, Romana. See, but I just, Chibnall, I'm not happy with you know, where it's like every time he does a storyline, he wants to rewrite Doctor Who history. It doesn't feel it, like Doctor Who. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It. Thank God I'm doing my alternate route thing. So you know, it doesn't feel like Doctor Who, and and um, I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't like feel. Said, like he's trying to appeal so much to the SJWs and all this other stuff, and this uh, that he's pretty much destroying the show. He's. I see what he's trying to do. Would, he's trying to do like the Sarah Jane. You know how Sarah Jane used to have the Monsters of the Week, or Do Doctor used to do that in the past. Yeah, like, but like, oh, the, the, the Stunza is a villain. It's, it's like, but you're not really like, you really don't. Other than the Stunza, you really don't have any villains this season, really. No, you don't. I know you're gonna try to make the stupid robot that's in Ghost Monuments, and and you know the spiders, but like, I mean, we really don't got villains. You know that, right? It's no, like. We don't. It's it's just there, and the TARDIS. You're not even getting enough of the TARDIS to see what the hell is happening, anyway. You know, he's we knew everything there is about. He's pretty much dumbing down the villains to make them eat, to make his Doctor look like the number one person on the on the block. And I'm not trying to be negative, but it's apparent. Yeah. Like people just. Oh, okay. I mean that that's what it is. It's not. Yeah, it is. This is not like oh I can't wait. No, people are mm. starting to lose gas with this because it's almost over. I mean, five, episode five is Sunday, and then you're done. I mean, then you got a whatever special that's going to be. Yeah. On, on New Year's, wow. Ooh, ooh yeah. You know what special is going to be? Special is going to be oh my god! Before I was the doctor, when I had ginger hair and be like wait what and then you're gonna have a whole thing about all these incarnations before the doctor and then you're gonna be like oh shh. exactly they're gonna piss everybody off he's gonna do it he already has and moffat started to put stupid crap in there too about that listen you can't reinvent the wheel no. and you can't really mess with doctor who like that where you're gonna change everything about it you saw it with uh, Twice in a Lifetime, and now you're seeing it yeah, with... Yeah, Twice Upon a Time. Twice Upon a Time, not Twice in a Lifetime. Twice Upon a Time, yeah. So with the first Doctor, and now... I mean, now do you really care about, like, talking about a, a, an episode where a guy's pregnant? No. How are we supposed to get excited about that? It's an SJW. It's politically correct. It's like stupid shit. Mm -hmm. I can't even get excited about that. I, it's not like I'm going to put a poster on my damn wall about that. Doctor used to be fun. It used to be exciting. It used to be yeah. like Cyberman posters, Dollar and, posters. And like, even, what the hell is going on? Dull, and even if it was a dull episode, think about it, if even if it was a dull meh episode, you were entertained with it by some way and you were ready to see what the next episode was. Now it's like, okay, if I miss it, I really don't miss much. Yeah, hold on, Scott. So yeah, the I can't even pronounce the damn episode, Scott. Mm -hmm. Same here. I look back and I try to. You know, the only thing I'm really psyched about right now about Doctor Who 
is that a character that they did for the Doctor Who monthlies, and then Marvel, when they had Doctor Who, reprinted it, and that was Sharon with the Star Beast. So, I mean, and pretty much that's the biggest thing about, and that's being done big by Big Finish. So it makes you something, it makes you fearful that an audio drama or audio dramas of Doctor Who are getting much more air and much more excitement from people in the series. I got to tell you, we're not going to, we're not defeatist. We're not being negative. No. We're just being practical. We'll be honest. We're telling our opinions, not liking what's happening so far. Now, I mean, I was hopeful that the season's going to get better, but then for episode five, you have this. Yeah. And then episode six, you're going to have what? So, all right. You know what? Ooh. We're going to cut this cast short because we're going to go into everything. Show we've got other stuff to talk about. Um, hopefully we'll get other people in here later. And I don't really know how, we're going to be with this next episode. All right. Take care. Bye for now.